Finally tonight here, our Persons of the Week, and this was not a difficult choice. After what we witnessed and after so many of you at home took action, the doctors on the front lines saving the children, our Persons of the Week. Our journey began at first light, a more than eight hour trek across the unforgiving desert of Somaliland, where we've been told there was an urgent crisis unfolding, doctors and nurses in a race against time. At our first hospital, we see the children fighting to survive. There was Hamda, nearly two years old, weighing just 11 pounds. The nurse working to save her told us Hamda was so weak, they feared she would die just minutes after arriving. She is still holding on. Dr. Chama, who took us through that hospital, is trying to keep the children alive. Uh, they're dying. Yeah, you disappear uh, dehydration. More than 100 miles away, another hospital in Barao. We won't forget Dr. Yusuf Ali and what he told us. These are the lucky ones who reached the hospital, but there are so many kids that do not make to the hospital. Four countries on the brink of famine, 20 million at risk. You believe you're on the verge of famine? That's what I believe, that's what I believe. You're seeing it? We're seeing it, it's, it's here. I don't need a witness. There was little Osman, who was so weak, he'd lost the strength to talk his tiny hand in mine. He cannot talk? Yeah. He hasn't been talking? So many of you at home saw these faces and took action. Tonight, Save the Children telling us $1.8 million has now been raised from our viewers, more than 16,000 donors. You can actually bring a malnourished child back to life if you get to that child. Where's your face? The children being helped by you. <laughs> And so we choose those doctors and nurses fighting to save those children. And of course, we thank so many of you at home for your incredible generosity. I'm David Muir. I hope to see you right back here on Monday night. Until then, have a good evening. Good night.